Hello everyone and welcome to Fizz Pop Science and BBC Radio Gloucestershire's Science Time. And we're going to basically be creating a chemical reaction now, similar to some of the science experiments you might have done at home, mainly the volcano. Some of you may have used the, the vinegar and the bicarbonate soda to make a, a kind of bu uh, bubbling volcano. We're going to take it one step further. We're going to do some fizz pop science here that will bring a slightly bigger chemical reaction. So first of all, to do this, instead of vinegar, we're going to be using uh, this liquid here. And this is very similar to H2O, but it's got an extra O in it, so it's H2O2. And I'm going to put this inside here. And this is going to give us the liquid we need to eventually make our chemical reaction. And now Kelly's going to take the next step. Okay, so just a little bit of soapy liquid. Here it goes, nice squeeze in there. And very, very carefully, we're going to give it a little swirl around. So, so far, no chemical reaction in there, not much happening, a few little bubbles, but now rock it for the final, final chemical. Okay, so I'm going to add this last chemical now. This is going to create a, a very fast chemical reaction. It will bas basically create huge amounts of gas, in this case, oxygen gas. This oxygen gas will be captured within the bubble solution and the water that will be left behind from the chemical reaction and create huge amounts of bubbles, hopefully. So we should see some fun foam eruptions. And there it goes. We've got ourselves. Some people like to call it elephant's toothpaste because they imagine that's what it might look like if elephants had toothpaste. Uh, but I just like to call it the Fizz Pop Extra Special Volcano Explosion. <laughs>